Have you ever fallen prey to a cyber attack recently or in the past? Are you aware of the latest techniques used by cyber criminals to dupe to their targets? Well, in a massive breakthrough, the Guwahati police has cracked the whip on as many as eight fake call centers that had been operating for some time of the, in the prime locations of these cities since the last two years and have duped people of crores of rupees. That's right, viewers. Multiple raids were conducted last night on the eight fake call centers that were allegedly siphoning off money from the bank accounts of people not just here in Gohati, but other parts of Assam as well. In fact, the scammers even targeted people across the nation as well as abroad. Briefing the media today, Guwahati Commissioner of Police Diganta Bara informed that three masterminds have been detained and a total of 191 others have also been detained. The call centres were operating from Bamuni Moidan, Zuti Nyali near the Guwahati Central Mall area, Rajgarh Road, Borbari, Ganeshkuri and GS Road. A vehicle had also been intercepted. All right, now who comprises of these uh, fake call centers? Well, you will be shocked to learn that the kingpins of the call centers had targeted unemployed, educated youth from across the Northeast and employed them through recruitment drives. In fact, most of the employees were even unaware of the racket. Now, the big question is, how did this racket operate? Well, as per CP Bara, the police had received an intel of the involvement of an international gang involved with the fake call centers. In fact, the average income of a single call center is learned to be multi-crore rupees. The scamsters leased internet connection on fake proofs and made calls to victims with fake identities. CP Bora said that the call centers were activate were, were active only at night and there were no activities in the daytime. Communication was established primarily via internet-based calls. Furthermore, cyber experts are also involved in the racket who used pop-up links as bait. For instance, antivirus malware software links would pop up on the screens of the users along with a toll-free number. Furthermore, the transactions were done through Bitcoin and gift vouchers, e-gift vouchers to be more precise. A total of 16 mobile phones and 166 hard disks have been seized. And amongst the three arrested include Dev Jyoti De, alias David, who owns a luxury BMW vehicle and even owns a residence in Dubai. The two other two are Rajan Sidana and Divyam Arora. Guwahati Police Commissioner Digantabara has more details. Let's listen in. There was an information received regarding uh, functioning of some scam call centers in Guwahati. We formed multiple teams and conducted raids at multiple locations simultaneously against individual targets. We raided eight such places and we could detain 191 persons. We could seize the electronic gadgets involved or uh, used for committing such cyber crimes. All these call centers, they operate at night targeting mainly the foreign nationals abroad and the transaction, monetary transactions take place in the form of Bitcoin wallet or in the form of uh, sharing of uh, uh, gift voucher uh, numbers. And these informations are encased into Indian rupees uh, through an international hawala gang. We have uh, got few masterminds who were involved in operating these call centers in Guwahati. Though we could bust only eight such call centers, we could detain 
191 youth who were operating, who were working in such call centers. By but I I believe that there may be many more such call centers operating in Guwahati as well as in other districts of Assam. Lot of uh, electronic gadgets like computer, desktops, laptops, mobile phones, routers, etc., were seized by Guwahati police. It's just an initial stage of uh, investigation. As the investigation progresses, we'll get to know more about the details of such crimes which are taking place from Guwahati. And Police Commissioner Digam Tambora also spoke about the modus operandi of the scammers. Let's listen in. And the modus operandi in all these eight call centers, uh, what you could find is that by resorting to uh, internet search engines, by sending some kind of softwares, they ensure that there is some kind of pop-up in the computer screen of the individual computers or personal computers or personal laptops. Whenever there is some kind of pop-up, suppose for example, your antivirus is not functioning. So when that pop-up comes, immediately the person who is using that personal computer, he gets worried. And he starts looking for some kind of toll-free number or any service center number. When they search the service center's number or toll-free toll -free numbers, these scammers, what they do is that they also give some kind of toll-free number in the web so that whenever these toll-free numbers are searched, their numbers are also visible to those people. So anyone who calls those toll-free numbers provided by these scammers, the call lands at these call centers and they come into some kind of conversation with the call takers from these call centers. During the process of conversation, these call takers that are trained enough, they have a prepared transcript in front of them and they are, they are capable of instilling some kind of fear in the minds of that gullible person resulting in sharing the personal information of that person with these scammers. The Guwahati police have termed it as a multi-crore scam. There are more and more such gangs which are becoming active because it is so lucrative that monthly turnover of one call center runs into crores. The police also said that the latest raid, that this is just the tip of the iceberg and more such crackdowns are expected here on. As for the viewers of Northeast Live, stay alert and safe and do not respond to suspicious calls. And of course, the, the CP also spoke on how the recruitment process is carried out for people to work in these fake call centres. Let's listen into that. Eight such call centres were busted by Guwahati police last night. Youth, both males and females, from the state, that is from Assam and from other northeastern states and from far flung states like Punjab, Delhi, UP, Bihar, Haryana, Maharashtra, youth from those states were also found in those call centers. Those are gullible, educated but unemployed youth, these scammers. They target this type of uh, youth by uh, resorting to social media, by giving some kind of advertisement for employment to work in a call center and train them and they engage them in such kind of activities. But most worrying part is that so illegal telephone, internet based telephone exchange has been established in such call centers from where they were making internet-based VOIP international calls, which is a kind of cause of concern for our national security also. All those transactions, monetary transactions, that take, takes place through international and national hawala channels. That is also a cause of concern for our national security. 
So viewers, this is indeed a massive crackdown on fake call centers by Guwahati police as many as eight such fake call centers have been raided by Guwahati police and a lot of big revelations being made by the Guwahati Commissioner of Police, Diganto Bora, at a press briefing earlier today. Of course, the main takeaways from the press briefing are, number one, of course, a total of 191 people have been detained in connection with the fake call centers. Number two, as many as three are masterminds and there are also more masterminds who are not currently in police custody but investigation is on to nab them as well number three of course is that this big call center scam also poses a threat to the national security as well and let's also talk about the modus operandi here the the, the main target for people to work as employees at these fake call centers are gullible youth who are educated but unemployed these are the main targets so such gullible youth as a Digontabora, the CP mentioned, are targeted and are made to work at such call centers most of the time without even actually realizing that they're actually part of a racket. So this is indeed something that goes way beyond just Gohati viewers. This racket is spread across not just here in Assam but across the entire nation. And from what we have been given to understand, these rackets usually operate during the night. It is during the night time that they make such fraudulent calls to mostly foreign people and dupe them into giving out personal information which eventually translates into money which is then converted into Indian rupees. Most of these transactions viewers are done through cryptocurrency such as bitcoins and e-vouchers. So big, big revelations coming to the fore viewers as far as these fake call centers are concerned. One more thing to be kept in mind here is that this is an ongoing investigation and there are more details which are likely to come to fore as investigation progresses, as Digontabora said, you know, there are eight such call centers which have been raided so far, but these centers change locations frequently to stay one step ahead of the police. So there will be more such raids carried out likely in the future and more big revelations can be very likely expected.